and Savage is here to give you the unprotected talk you've come to expect. Everyone loves this unprotected talk idea. It is exciting the American talk audiences. And I'm getting answers from people who count, not the uh, disgruntled few who put down anything anyone does. But people who matter have told me that this idea that I created and trademarked and registered and legally protected, and if you steal it, I'll sue you, uh, unprotected talk, has caught like a storm. And what that means is we're not screening you. 855-407-282 will get you up on the Savage Nation. And I won't know what you're talking about. I'll go out on a tightrope without any nets, and I'll counterpunch if necessary. But I'm going to do the show the way it should be done, which is that's what's exciting about talk radio. I want to get the voice of America up on the airwaves, and there's no other way to do it. If I screen your calls, you're going to screen out. We're going to screen out some of the most raw calls there are, and that's what I want. Now, let me begin with this. When I began this show 20 years ago, I had a certain viewpoint. It's now 20 years later. I have the, the exact same viewpoint. I'm as politically oriented the same way as I was then, same exact way. I haven't changed my politics one iota. I've changed my delivery somewhat because when Babe Ruth started out as a ball player, he would hit the ball and run around the bases. I was the same way. I'd hit the ball and run around the bases, and I'd be sweating at the end of three hours. Well, now I walk around the bases because I'm hitting them farther out of the park. I don't have to, I don't have to run around the bases. In other words, the trick is to say what you want to say in a way that is humorous, insightful, direct, and thought-provoking. In other words, I don't have to go out of my way to insult liberals or say it over and over again. We know what they are. We know that we know exactly what they are. We know they're hypocrites. The number one word for liberal or progressive is a double-talking liar hypocrite. What better example do you need than Obama spending $1,000 for a meal in Hawaii that charges $500,000 for membership? What more do you need than a phony like him, an affirmative action phony like Barack Obama, always talking to talk about the, the poor and the 1% and inequality and unfairness. And me, meanwhile, him and his wife go to the vintage cave in Honolulu, and they order a meal that costs $1,000 with wine. How do you progressives get up in the morning and shave without cutting your own throats? But it's nothing compared to what I'm about to tell you. There's a mini scandal brewing because the vermin in the media, mainly CNN, the usual suspects, and you know who they are. I don't have to mention Wolf Blitzer and him. I don't remember. What is his name, the guy? The Woody Woodpecker of talk of uh, television radio. Yeah, the Woody Woodpecker of television journalism is Jake Tapper. So Woody Woodpecker, Tapper, and the others on the illegitimate left are attacking House Majority Whip Steve Scalise because many years ago he spoke to a group run by the Ku Klux Klan Grand Wizard David Duke. She said, well, he spoke with them. He spoke to them. It doesn't mean he was a Ku Klux Klan member, number one. He admitted to speaking to the group 12 years ago at a gathering of the European American Unity and Rights Organization, which is a counterpoint to the racist Southern, Southern Poverty Law Center. It's a counterpoint in some ways to the vermin on the left. I don't agree with the Ku Klux Klan. They would hate me and I hate them. But the man spoke to them 12 years ago. Now they're turning it into a big deal demanding he step down. Now he is the House Majority Whip. And because he's a Republican, they're digging up this dirt on him. All right, that's fair enough. That's politics. Well, let me look at this from the point of view of being a fair-minded talk show host. How about Obama's racist pastor, Jeremiah Wright, who was far worse uh, than the Ku Klux Klan the speech? Why? Why is it that Jake Tapper does not talk about Obama sitting in the church of the radical vermin communist left for 20 years the minister, Jeremiah Wright, who cursed America, cursed America's military, and the media gave Obama a pass. The media is biased. We know that. I'm not supporting the Ku Klux Klan. Who would? But why not start with Obama's relationship with Jeremiah Wright, a racist preacher? Why not go back to Obama's days as a communist and a pot-smoking college student while it was illegal? To tie a speech 12 years ago, to someone today is really stretching the truth. Why don't they dig up dirt on Barack Obama or Harry Reid or Nancy Pelosi or Hillary Clinton or Eric Holder or Jesse Jackson or Al Sharpton? How come you never read any of the dirt and the dirty laundry? I'm trying to be fair about this. I'm trying to show you what's right or wrong with the media.